What if I told you that playing football manager led to the discovery of a nation's top ever goal scorer? A player that at the international level has scored more goals than Thierry Henry, Robin Van Persie, and Diego Maradona. Well, that was the case for Phil Young Husband, who throughout his international career would score 52 goals, and along with his brother James, would gain over 100 caps for the Philippines national team. Our story begins in the early 2000s, where for Phil and James, Filipino stardom seemed far away, and their journeys would start nearly 7,000 miles from the Philippines in Surrey, England. Born in England to a Filipino mother and an English father, the young husband brothers quickly adopted the footballing fever ever present in English culture, and at a young age, they were found to have talent for the game. In 1997, the brothers were signed to play for the Chelsea Academy, where they began their footballing education. Throughout their time at Chelsea, they would have the opportunity to train alongside the world's biggest stars, including Frank Lampard, John Terry, and Petr Cech. Their own play at the time also suggested bright futures, breaking into the youth team squads during the 2003-04 and 2004-05 seasons. And it was in 2005 that the career of the Young Husband Brothers, as well as the course of Filipino footballing history, would change forever. You see, in 2005, the Philippines frankly didn't care about football. Basketball and boxing are the country's most popular sports, and in 2005, Manny Pacquiao was reaching the height of his boxing powers. In contrast, the Philippines had fallen to 190th in the FIFA World Rankings, and were one year away from falling to their lowest ever world ranking. There did not seem to be a lot of hope for Filipino football. But a renaissance was soon coming, and everything was about to change. Somewhere in the Philippines, there was a kid playing football manager. While playing the game, he found Phil and James' young husband, and discovered their eligibility to play for the Philippines national team. That kid alerted the Philippines Football Federation, and it didn't take long for the Philippines to come calling. Chelsea's head of youth development informed the Young Husband Brothers that they had received a call-up from the Philippines. That call would change their lives. Speaking about the call-up, the Young Husband Brothers recalled, We went home and spoke to our mom. We were all really excited about a chance to play for our mother's homeland, and felt it was a good decision for us to play across the world We'd been to the Philippines every year since we were born. That was always our summer holiday. It didn't feel alien to us. It felt very natural and felt like home. They would start off playing in the under-23 squad and would each receive their international debuts in 2006, just in time for their first major test, the 2007 Asian Championship qualification. The 2007 Asian Football Championship was the beginning of what would be a major turnaround for the Philippines' fortunes. They finished second in the round-robin tournament, enough to gain an unexpected qualification, and it helped the team rise from 195th to 171st in the world rankings. Their qualification run included the first time the team had ever won three matches in a row, and much of that was thanks to the brilliance of Phil Young Husband, whose hat-trick against East Timor catapulted the Philippines to qualification, and to him being the tournament's top goal scorer. While the Philippines would not go on to win a game at the 2007 Asian Football Championship, their world status continued to grow. Dan Palami would step up to help grow the sport in the country with newfound funding, and the Philippines would again qualify for the 2010 Asian Football Championships. This was taking place in Vietnam, and they would achieve, arguably, the greatest ever upset in the tournament's history. In the group stage, the Philippines were drawn against Vietnam, the tournament's hosts, and the defending champions. On December 5, 2010, in Hanoi, Vietnam, a miracle would occur. The Philippines would defeat Vietnam 2-0, where a 79th-minute goal from Phil Young Husband would seal the victory. It was the Philippines' greatest ever footballing achievement. Since then, football in the Philippines has continued to grow. In 2019, the Philippines would qualify for its first ever Asian Cup, and domestic football in the Philippines has continued to rise. Phil and James' young husband 
were an ever-present part of this growing football journey, each earning over 100 caps for the national team, Phil becoming the country's record goal scorer, and both having played their domestic football in their mother's homeland. Today, the Philippines men's national team has risen to 141st in the FIFA World Rankings, and the Philippines Football League has 15 teams, providing a new path for Filipino players to play the sport professionally. But the young husband influence is not just limited to the men's game, with the woman's side also benefiting. Again, a kid playing football manager discovered the young husband's eligibility, and since then, foreign-born players have been huge for helping the sport to grow. Recently, the Philippines women's national team made and won a match in the Women's World Cup. Much of that team, including stars Serena Bolden and Olivia McDaniel, were born outside of the Philippines, but came back to represent the country they hold so dear to their hearts, just like the young husband brothers did. It's crazy to think that this whole journey started because there was a kid somewhere playing football manager in the Philippines, and that kid probably has no idea how he's changed the trajectory of Filipino football. But since their discovery, Phil and James' young husband have been linchpins to growing the sport in the Philippines and helping to find its success in the footballing world. The Filipino footballing journey is just getting started, and I can't wait to see what happens next. The Athletic and the FIFA website include great interviews with Phil and James' young husband detailing their stories, and that, along with all the sources I used for this video, are presented in the description below. If you found this video interesting, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And if you enjoyed this video, then you might also like this one where we break down the Philippines' first-ever World Cup victory.